Riziki. How was school today? <laughs> it was terrible today. Our teacher was angry at us because we had failed a test. What do you mean? She says that more than half of us cannot read and understand a simple paragraph in English. Oh, don't worry. You know I heard on the radio that one in ten children who complete primary school cannot read and comprehend English, let alone do basic math. But how come? And we go to school every day and our teachers are there. You know yesterday at Tamu Bakery, three of my colleagues were sacked. Our boss said that they lacked the skills needed to do the work. Can you imagine that two of them are college graduates? What do you mean? What skills did they not have? You know I wonder, and yet the government says that they are giving so much money to improve education. I hear also that there are so many organizations helping education. What are they all doing? I am not so sure, but we can go talk to Mr. Mugo. He came to our college one day and told us about Zizi Afrique. Welcome to Zizi Afrique. How are you? Thank you, sir. Do you remember me? You came to our Juhudi College. This is my brother Riziki and I am Malkia. There is something we want to discuss with you. Please sit down. How can I help you? In this country, so many children are, are not learning and youths are losing their job because of lack of skills. What are you doing about this? You have come to the right place at the right time. By the year 2025, Zizi Afrique plans to ensure that all children and youth are learning and thriving. Oh, that sounds good. That's a big ambition. How will you achieve this? A good question, Malkia. We plan to do this in three ways. Number one, we're going to do research and produce evidence to tell us where the problem is, what is working and not working in addressing the challenges you have stated. Number two, we shall use the evidence to engage the government on how to improve education. We dream that Zizi Afrique will become a hub where many people who are working to improve education can meet and unite their voice. And thirdly, we will develop and test innovations for equipping all children and youth with the holistic competencies needed for learning, working, and living. This looks like very hard work. How will you manage? We are investing in building a strong organization. I work with talented individuals who aspire for excellence in everything we do. As an organization, we have also embraced the use of technology to make us even more efficient. We also monitor, evaluate, and report our progress. And of course, money is a must. I wish you all the best. I did not understand what that man said. He sounds very ambitious. Do you know that in 2025 I'll be informed too? 